six European countries, post funding for the UN Refugee Agency for Palestinians UNRWA on Saturday, January 27, following allegations that some of its staff were involved in the October 7 Hamas attacks on Israel. Britain, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Switzerland and Finland on Saturday joined the United States, Australia and Canada in pausing funding to the aid agency, a critical source of support for people in Gaza. After the allegations by Israel, the agency said on Friday it had opened an investigation into several employees and severed ties with those people, encouraging more donor suspensions. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz said UNRWA should be replaced once fighting in the enclave dies down and accuse it of ties to militants in Gaza. In Gaza's rebuilding, at UNRWA must be replaced with agencies dedicated to genuine peace and development. He added on X, Deputy UN spokesperson Fahon Hack, asked about Katz's remarks, said, We are not responding to rhetoric. UNRWA overall had had a strong record, which we have repeatedly underscored. Philippe Lotzarini, UNRWA Commissioner General, said the decision by the nine countries threatened its humanitarian work across the region, especially in Gaza. It is shocking to see a suspension of funds to the agency in reaction to allegations against a small group of staff especially given the immediate action that UNRWA took by terminating their contracts and asking for a transparent independent investigation, he said in a statement. UNRWA has always rejected similar accusations in the past and maintained it is a relief and humanitarian agency. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry criticized what it described as an Israeli campaign against UNRWA, and Hamas condemned the termination of employee contracts based on information derived from the Zionist enemy. UNRWA was set up to help refugees of the 1948 war at Israel's founding and provides education, health and aid services to Palestinians in Gaza, the West Bank, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. It helps about two-thirds of Gaza's 2.3 million population and has played a pivotal aid role during the war that Israel launched to eliminate Hamas after the October 7 attacks. Announcing the investigation Lotzarini said on Friday that he had decided to terminate the contracts of some staff members to protect the agency's ability to deliver humanitarian assistance. Lotzarini did not disclose the number of employees allegedly involved in the attacks, nor the nature of their alleged involvement. He said, however, that any UNRWA employee who was involved in acts of terror would be held accountable, including true criminal prosecution. During weeks of Israeli bombardment of the Palestinian enclave, UNRWA has repeatedly said its capacity to render humanitarian assistance to people in Gaza is on the verge of collapse. Hussein El Sheikh head of the Palestinians' umbrella political body, the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO, said cutting support to the agency brought major political and relief risks. We call on countries that announced the cessation of their support for UNRWA to immediately reverse their decision, he said on X. The foreign ministry in Germany, a major donor to UNRWA, welcomed UNRWA's investigation saying it was deeply concerned about the allegations raised against agency employees. We expect Lord Sarini to make it clear within UNRWA's workforce that all forms of hatred and violence are totally unacceptable and will not be tolerated. It said on X.